Today, we'll show you how to turn your backyard into a vacation oasis 365 days a year. Ever consider installing solar power in your home? It's a great way to go green and it's sure to cut down on those costly utility bills. We will also introduce you to a fast and affordable do-it-yourself remodeling solution that's perfect for bathrooms and kitchens. The backyard. Just the word conjures up all kinds of wonderful family memories. It's always been that special family sanctuary just outside the back door. It's where a vacation awaits us every day. Through the ages, backyards have definitely come a long way. Today, nothing adds to the sheer enjoyment of the backyard lifestyle quite like a hot tub. Relaxing warm, swirling water 365 days a year. Whether it's entertaining family and friends or relieving the tensions at the end of a long day, a hot tub is a great way to make every day special. Adding a hot tub to a backyard is an investment in your home, your health, and most importantly, your family. It's probably the only backyard activity that can be enjoyed every day of the year. We caught up with Richard Gottwald, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Association of Pool and Spa Professionals. Getting into a hot tub is so relaxing. You've got jets out the side here that spray water onto you, very soothing. You've got this hydrotherapy moving around, a whirlpool going around in the middle. It's warm. It really just takes the pressure away. There's nothing like getting into a hot tub at the end of a long day. Talk to someone who has a hot tub, and many people use it more in the winter than they do in the summertime. Hot tubs are a great place for the whole family to connect. You know, everyone's running to soccer games and to baseball games and to after school activities. But at the end of the day, you can come, you can really relax as a family in a hot tub. And you know, another good thing is you can't bring a phone or an iPad in here, so it's really quality one on one time with your kids. Hot tubs really make a great backyard oasis. You know where the kids are, you know where the family is, you can step out that back door 365 days a year and create your own little family time in a hot tub. But how expensive is all that fun? Is it really doable for the average family? Don't you have to hire a contractor and an electrician to install everything? Not to mention the cost of maintenance. To get some answers, we asked Victor Sassong, Director of Retail Operations for Nordic Hot Tubs. Owning a backyard spa has never been easier and, most importantly, more affordable. Our plug and play models are just that. It couldn't be easier. Find a piece of level ground in your backyard, Fill the tub with water from your garden hose, plug it in, and enjoy it. It's that easy. These are portable models that can plug into a standard wall outlet. You can plug them in yourself. You don't need an electrician or a fancy wall outlet. They can run on either 110 or 220. And the new technology in these spas make them highly energy efficient. OK, you just plug them in. But is the setup really that easy? Setting up a portable hot tub is really no big deal as long as you do a little advanced planning and preparation. Make sure the site can support the weight. Make sure there's adequate drainage around the site. Check that the site is level before filling. Make sure there's access to the power source. Fill it up with water, plug it in, enjoy. And that's why we call it plug and play. And once you're up and running, maintenance is also easy. Simply balance your water chemistry and add a cap full of sanitizer a few times a week. It's that easy. This all sounds great, but we wondered how it all works. So we asked Maurizio Voza, President and CEO of Nordic Hot Tubs. Nordic began in 1995 with their founder, William A. Gibson. Mr. Gibson was the first person to recognize the benefits of high density polyethylene in the manufacturing process of hot tubs. And Nordic continues to be the only manufacturer to utilize Whirlpool therapy in every one of its models. And it's all built here by hand at the Nordic factory. The 
plug and play models are in demand because as you've seen, they're easy to install, easy to maintain, and very affordable. Of course, you can check all this out at our website, nordichottubs.com. Backyards have definitely come a long way over the years. It's still that little sanctuary out back, but it seems like a whole lot more fun these days. So what are you waiting for? Get out there and enjoy it. To see this portion of Designing Spaces again, go to designingspaces.tv and click on Nordic Plug and Play. If you've seen this before, you probably know. We're pretty into solar power. Well, Andy, that's his job. Me, I just like it. I like it because it makes sense. Solar power isn't expensive or complicated anymore. It's good for the environment, and it saves people a lot of money. Plus, I got a new bike, and I'm pretty sure that's the reason. It all comes down to a brand new idea that Andy and his buddies at Vivint Solar have. Tell you what, Billy, how about you and I go check out an installation and we can see how all this ties together. Cool. Let's go. So you can see right here, this is our Vivint Solar box truck. And then mm -hmm. behind it, we have our electrical truck that has all of our electrical wire and conductors and things like that. So we're super excited to be here. And, and yeah, this, this is team. so cool. Take a look at this installation right now. Whoa, that is so cool. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Morning, Blake, how are you? Good, hey guys. This is Millie. Hey, Millie. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Welcome to the job site. We've been prepping all morning. We're just getting the solar panels up. Solar pa can can I see a solar panel? Absolutely. Let me show you some solar panels, Millie. Let's go over here. Okay. All right, Millie. This is a solar module. Really? Yes. It has 60 different cells that capture the the sun's power and converts it into DC current. That is so cool. So we take one of these modules and combine it with others to create a larger system that creates power for the entire home. This stuff is really cool. It is, isn't it? Yeah. We're ready for our hard hats, Blake. Excellent. Here you guys go. Thank you. Go ahead and put that on. Let's go take a look around. <laughs> so this drawing is called a site plan, and we create a site plan for every account that we install solar on. What this does is it shows all of our installers where to put their solar modules. Where we're standing, we're standing right here, and we're, we're watching them install this array here. All right, Millie, here's the ladder. How about you and I get up on the roof? I can go up there? Yep. Really? That is so cool. Let's go get some safety gear and we'll go up. OK. So when we go up on the roof, we want to make sure that we're safe. Mm -hmm. And if anybody were to have an accident, we don't want them to hit the ground. We want to be able to save them before they get to the ground. Yeah, that's really smart. OK. So right now, each one of these modules, because the sun's hitting it, is creating power. It's not going to the house yet because it's not all hooked up. Yeah. But these modules, they're, they're creating power right now. Just with this little bit of sun, I know it's overcast, but just with a little bit of sun that it's getting, it's still producing energy. What they do is this is your optimizer. That's what those, those cords on the back of the module hook up to. So behind every single one of these modules, you can see, let's walk this way a little bit further. Okay. So behind every one of these modules, you can see that these plates are there, and those are your power optimizers. Mm -hmm. And what will happen is they'll take all of the connectors, all the cords that are underneath it, and they'll put them into this box, and they'll tie it all together. Yeah. And so this is mounted to the rail, and then all of the electrical cords will run through this raceway into all of the different arrays. That's pretty cool, huh? That's really smart. How about you and I jump down and go take a look at it and see where all of that power gets sent back to the house? OK, sweet. Sound good? Sound good. High five. Let's go. All right, Millie, this is our electrical truck. Every piece of wire that goes into this house starts here. Really? Yep. That's so cool. Yeah, let's go talk to the electrician. OK. Hey, Dale. Hey there. How's Hi. it going? Great. This is Millie. Hi, Hi Millie. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Millie's here checking out an installation. Can you share with her what you're doing right now? Sure. When the sun hits the modules on the roof, it's direct current. Mm -hmm. OK, it comes down into our inverter which converts it to alternating current, which feeds our house panel. 
Okay, which basically won't we want to do that, so we're not using the utility anymore. Yeah. So, which is, that's why we're installing solar. Yeah, so we're saving money from that. Yes, you are. Yeah. Lots of money. Well, thank you so much for teaching me about this stuff. It's really amazing. I love learning about it. Okay, no problem. Thanks for coming. Blake, thanks for letting us come check out your installation. You bet. Thank you guys for stopping by. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. All right, Millie, let's go. Bye. Andy, this was so amazing. Thank you so much for showing me. Millie, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Would you like to come with me to Vivint Solar's headquarters? I would love to. Well, then grab your skis because we're going to Utah. To learn more, go to viventsolar.com. To see this portion of the show again, visit designingspaces.tv. Changing the style in your kitchen often requires expensive remodeling, but today we'll look at one DIY project that is cost effective and easy to do. We just bought our first house, which we're really excited about. And I wanted to do something in the kitchen to brighten it up, and I love the look of that glass tile backsplash. Yeah, but when we realized how expensive it was, we knew we were gonna have to rethink things a little bit. Which I wasn't happy about, because I thought it would add a nice touch. So Kelly and Matt, I have just what you need for your kitchen backsplash. Designing Spaces brought in Elaine Paquin from Quinco and Company to help out with this DIY kitchen project with Smart Tiles. Take a look at these samples. These are Smart Tiles, tiling made simple. Wow, these are really nice. Yeah, you know, they look just like glass tiles, but they're not. And you just stick these on the wall? Yes, you peel and stick them to a clean and sleek surface. No specialized tools, as easy as it gets. How long would this last? Like, is it going to lose its grip? This will last for a very long time if you need them to. When you want to remove them, so easy. You simply heat them up and peel them off the wall. And how much do these little gems cost? That's really the good news here is the fact that typically they'll be about 30% less than real glass tiles. <laughs> money, huh? <laughs> I like the saving money part of this project. Oh, I know you do. And I like the fact that it has the same design effect as glass tiles. So what gives them the real glass tile look is our patented Gel-O technology that is soft and flexible, lightweight, uh, and very durable. They will never yellow with, with time. And they can be installed in minutes. Decisions, decisions. Well, you know what? I think they'll both fit really well in your kitchen. You're holding up two really popular ones. This is a Bellagio Keystone, and this one's also a popular yes. one. It's called the Tango Titan Mosaic. Yeah, I like this. And where can we buy these or see more of a selection? Well, you'll find them at the Home Depot or Lowe's. Well, that's easy enough. Mm -hmm. Where'd I put my keys? <laughs> Now we can get to work. Sure. Elaine, you got any ideas on installation tips here? I sure do. We have a lot of tips on our website at thesmarttiles.com. Just find the installation page and you'll have a lot of information there. I, well, I really want this to look professional, so where do we begin? Well, the first step will be to clean all the walls. Make sure we get rid of all the grease on the wall. And then we start cutting up, box cutter, metal ruler, and uh, cutting mat, that's all we need. So let's get started. All right. Mark the wall with a horizontal line at the height of the first row of tiles. It's important to use a level because the counter may not be straight. Start installing the tiles at the furthest point from where you stand most often in your kitchen. Once the start of the first tile is determined, stick on the first row, then go back to the starting point and start your second row. This way the overlapping pattern remains the same. What do you do when you encounter an obstacle like an electrical outlet? Put the tile with the protective backing on in the position it will be applied. And with a box cutter, mark the edges of the obstacle with tiny cuts. Place the tile on a flat surface and cut out the area marked by the tiny cuts. The Smart Tiles Innovative Adhesive permits the repositioning of tiles when they're being installed, providing great pressure has not been applied to them. The grout lines need to be overlapped in order to obtain an even spacing between all the rows and columns of the tiles. It is suggested while installing that the tiles be delicately stuck to the wall so that they may be removed easily if necessary. When they're in the desired position, apply pressure to all corners and edges of the tile to stick it permanently on the wall. We 
did it, and only in an hour and 45 minutes, and it looks great. Isn't that amazing, yeah. the result? And I love it, so I would want to use more. Can we use it in a shower or on countertops? Oh, good question. A countertop, definitely not. You would cut right through it if you put it on a counter. If you want to do a shower stall, you would definitely not want to cover all the walls. It would not resist with time, but you could definitely add accent to it. And uh, in a bathroom backsplash, no problem. It will resist the humidity in the bathrooms. It definitely added style to our kitchen. Definitely. <laughs> so Kelly and Matt installed their brand new backsplash in one afternoon. No grout, no dust, no spackling. Very easy. And it looks just like a brand new glass tiled backsplash. So other than backsplashes, the tiles can be used in just about any other room in the house. Turn a boring wall space into one with style with smart tiles. The installation of our smart tiles backsplash went very smoothly. And we really didn't know that we can get something that's going to look so good and be that inexpensive. We're so happy with the way it turned out. Yeah. And that we did it. Exactly. <laughs> Visit thesmarttiles.com to learn more. To see this portion of the show again, go to designingspaces.tv. Marie, and this is Designing Spaces. Well, today I'm hanging out in the garage. Not normally a place that I hang out because this is one space that's usually messy, but today that's gonna change. But when you look around, you think, okay, I wanna organize this, but where do I start? Well, to help us sort it all out, literally and figuratively, is Jane with Trinity International, an eco-friendly storage and organization company with products that make our lives a lot easier and organized. Jane, welcome back to Designing Spaces. Glad to be back. So we're continuing our series that puts everything in its place. Yes. But in the garage, could it happen? Can we really organize the space? Absolutely. Okay, because I'm looking at this. Is this the norm? It is, unfortunately, and my garage actually looks like this. <laughs> Truth be told. Indeed. So what happens is people tend to take things out of the house that they don't want in the house right. and dump it in the garage. Right. So it becomes a dumping ground. Okay, so I know you have a plan, don't you? I absolutely okay, do. Okay, tell me what it is. Well, for tools, we've got this great 48-inch workbench. This is which great. Which is a Costco exclusive. Okay. And it is available at their stores and on their website. Beautiful. It's got a lot of storage and workspace, so it's it's multifunction. Absolutely. And then you can move it around wherever you want it. That's right, because it comes with casters and it has brakes on it that are very easy to turn on and turn off. Okay, so when you think of sporting stuff, what do you do with all that? Because, I mean, they're odd shapes. Right. We have a brand new product. It's our sports gear organizer. And it's made from the same shelving materials as our other shelving racks. But the difference is that they've got these deep baskets. Oh, great. And they are slanted so that you can actually easily get to the stuff in the back. And easily just throw that ball right there. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and it's got a rack on the side, which allows you to put odd-shaped things like bats and golf clubs. Oh, great. That's perfect. OK, now what about cleaning supplies? A lot of us store those in the garage. Right. You want to keep them away from pets and from yeah. kids. We've got our shelving racks, which the height can be adjusted to fit whatever needs you have okay. for smaller and larger supplies. All right. So we're all organized. Yes, we are. Where do we start? Let's start with these. Let's start with the tools. OK, let's do it. I've been looking for this. All right, that's the last of it. This looks great. Doesn't and I it? love being organized. Yes. And now you've got a place for everything. Yeah. So you can put everything back in its place. So keep it this way so it doesn't look messy and uncluttered, right? That's right. OK. You can shop on our website at trinityii.com. Got it. Well, thank you. You know, I didn't think it could be done, but you did turn a mess into a huge success. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Well, if you've missed any of what we covered here today, go ahead to our website to check it out at designingspaces.tv. We're also on Facebook. Facebook and Twitter, so join us there. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon. Making a space you can call home. Living the lifestyle you desire. It's what we are all about. We are Designing Spaces. For more information about anything you've seen on today's show or to find out how to be part of the show, log on to designingspaces.tv.
You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.